Hey, this is Frankie with Missile Blast, the web's hottest video podcast on what's hot on the internet. So, let's click on this. Iran has been in the news for quite some time now, as they are attempting to build a nuclear weapons program. Allegedly. However, the Iranian government is now involved in something much, much more evil. The Iranian blogging community, known to some as Web Blogistan, has been the victim of censorship from the Iranian government. Hmm. So, you might ask, what exactly is being censored? What, talk of the coming Iranian revolution? Oh no. Not even close. You know, you know most bloggers are talking about you know, dating and sexual relationships, things that you would regularly talk about. But, you know, these things are forbidden to be discussed publicly in Iran culture. I think that's crap. You know, I mean, if you love somebody, you should be able to talk about it. A new device has been invented for people with autism to let them know if they're boring. Huh, okay. The tiny device, which can be placed on the side of eyeglasses, alerts the user to social cues that will reveal that other people are bored or annoyed by your story. Huh. Well, that's funny because, you know, I have an autistic cousin and he is, like, the sweetest thing ever. He, like, he walks around quoting Clint Eastwood every day, like, are, do you feel lucky, punk? Well, are you? And he just, oh, God, I'm sorry. He's just so sweet. All right. Um, okay, this breakthrough in technology will be presented next week at the Body Sensor Network Conference at MIT. Apple Computers and the former record label of the Beatles are squaring off in a battle comparing apples to, uh, apples? Apple Corps Limited, which has an apple for its logo, is owned by Beatles' Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, Don Lennon's widow Yoko Ono, and the estate of George Harrison. The music label is suing Apple, the iPod maker, over the selling of music in the iTunes store, which also has an apple for its logo. Apple Music contends that Apple Computer is in violation of a 1991 agreement where Apple Music agreed not to sell music using the Apple name. A lawyer representing Apple Computer said of the confusion between the logos, even a moron in a hurry would not be mistaken about that. Well, how do you like them apples? Hmm. YouTube.com, the internet's biggest viral video site and the e-entertainment network, are the latest network and website marriage. They are joining together to form a new broadband channel called CyberSmag, which was born out of the popular e-series The Soup. <gasps> My boyfriend loves soup. Okay, CyberSmag launches this week and will award $25,000, dang, to the winner of the contest. That's a lot of CyberSmaggers. So. Here's a cyber smack from me to you. I'm Frankie, here to give you your download on your upload.